how's it going guys? This is Dave2D. So a few days ago, I pre-ordered the Model 3 from Tesla and it was a pretty easy decision for me. I'd always been interested in the vehicle and when I saw how it looked, it was just a no-brainer. I just pre-ordered it. But there are some things that I think people should be aware of if they're considering this car. So the first is pricing. It's gonna come in at $35,000 US before tax incentives. And Elon has mentioned that the average selling price will be closer to 42,000 because of options that people will choose. So if you want stuff like the matte paint option or that glass roof that they were showing off instead of a plain metal roof, it's gonna cost extra. I also noticed that the door handles don't automatically slide out like the ones on the Model S. So one of the demo cars had those handles, but that's unlikely to go to production. The actual handles, you'll need to press them to mechanically pop the lever out. And on the inside, it's a button to open the door. Another thing, the hardware for autopilot is standard. So all the sensors and stuff are included and safety features like automatic braking to avoid objects, those are standard, but convenience features like self parking or automatic lane changing, all of those are extra. They kind of made it seem like autopilot came standard on the Model 3, but it doesn't. The other thing is size. So this is not a big car. It's around 20% smaller than the Model S. And when you compare photos and do some rough scaling, I think it'll be around 15 inches shorter and a few inches lower and narrower than the Model S. Similar in size to a Mazda 3 actually, which is a pretty small car. But because of how they shifted things around in the cabin and the way the roof panel works, it's quite roomy in there. The trunk opens like a regular trunk. It's not a hatchback like the Model S, presumably because of the glass panel roof. Like to make it a hatchback, the hinge would have had to be at the top of the glass panel and that's just a bad idea. The front trunk is a little smaller, not as small as this one, but it's definitely smaller than the current Model S. And there's also no plus two seating in the back. So the Model S wasn't a massive car or anything, but the Model 3 is definitely a more standard size. The third thing is charging. So just as a reminder, you need to have a power socket nearby to make this car feasible. Elon mentioned that by the end of next year, they'll double the number of superchargers and then quadruple the number of destination chargers, which is cool. So superchargers are those stations that let you charge up really quickly. So charging a Model S battery to half takes about 20 minutes. Now currently they're free to use. If you have a Model S and you see one of these, you can just plug it up and you're good to go. But for the Model 3, they'll have supercharger capability built in, but whether or not it's free to fill up is something that they'll figure out over time. Tesla cars have crazy amounts of torque and they also handle really well because they don't have a super heavy engine in the front of the car. With the Model 3, the base configuration will do zero to 60 in six seconds or less. It's not as fast as the Model S, but it's faster than most luxury cars you see on the road right now. So it's faster than the Audi A4, the Lexus IS300, the Mercedes C300, the BMW 328, and it's even faster than this guy. So the base model is a rear wheel drive. It'll have a range of 215 EPA miles, and it also comes in an all wheel drive dual motor option for less than $5,000. So that's cheaper or potentially cheaper than the Model S all-wheel drive option. If you've been in a Model S, you've seen that massive 17 inch screen that fits in the center consoles. On the Model 3, it's a smaller screen at 15 inches, but it's in a more prominent horizontal position. So this positioning is final. It's gonna be a landscape screen. With the Model S screen, there were controls that were a little tough to reach on the center console. Like you'd have to lean forward to hit it. On the Model 3, the screen sits closer to the driver. So it's a little bit easier to see and access. There's also no instrument panel. So the second screen on the Model S with the speedometer and stuff is gone. And the info is now displayed on that 15 inch screen. You end up with a super clean and a minimal dash without that hump. It's a little untraditional. I think that some people will find it weird, but Elon mentioned that they're still tweaking the steering controls. In fact, they're still tweaking a bunch of stuff like the door handle shape, the front nose cone even, everything's kind of in the works, but I really like the car. I love what the car represents. So yeah, I actually made this video and delayed a laptop video just to share my thoughts on this with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. And if any of you guys are getting a Model 3 yourselves, I'd love to hear about it below. It's been nice. See you guys next time. Thank you.